hello folks if you are watching this uh, video it means probably that you have had the same issue that i had uh, yesterday uh, when i was flying my drone in downtown stockholm so uh, the message is uh, quite clear orange it says gimbal motor overloaded and it happened just like that i had no explanation for it uh, it wasn't windy it wasn't i haven't damaged the drone i haven't done, done a hard landing everything was under control and the drone is quite new and just for the uh, reference this is a, a dji air 2s quite new drone and it's supposed to be uh, perfect because uh, it's it's new so right here what you see on the footage i am flying toward the downtown city the old city uh, in stockholm and i'm gonna see this boat uh, that took out, uh, out i mean just leaving shore so i'm gonna try to rotate it and i missed my shot there so i'm gonna continue and uh, somewhere soon the camera will start shaking just to let you know and here here it starts shaking and you see it loses this is the drone is stable the camera is is uh, unstable now and i have that message on the screen saying uh, gimbal motor overloaded in orange and i uh, didn't panic this time because this was this actually the second time it happened to me so uh, i just didn't panic because i knew there was something wrong with the gimbal I had no idea what it was, but um, at least, uh, at least I was uh, I wasn't uh, sweating as the first time. So I'm uh, trying to start the application in my telephone right now to uh, record, do the recording, so I can send in this to G DJI if in case if um, yeah, they, they need to see some footage. And at the same time, I'm trying to push the. Uh, uh, force the gimbal down or the camera down but as you see it just keeps on pushing up and I'm trying to force it down with the scroll and keeps on pushing up so right now the app is starting and you will see it on the top right corner very soon so there you see the app uh, I've started recording and uh, the, that's how it looks like gimbal motor overloaded and the distance to uh, to the what I took off is 170 meters almost now so I'm gonna start uh, pointing the camera toward me and trying to fly fly back home uh, steady and uh, just for the sake of reference a, uh, it, it's a bit it's a bit difficult to to get the camera down to, to look down if you let's say you are in down position you will have a hard time to see in the application where you're going right now i'm lucky to be in the middle right in the bushes there or uh, uh, under the trees the three trees on the left uh, soon you will see uh, me standing there with the blue jacket and i'm gonna turn over the drone and land it so i did uh, uh, i got in touch with dji today and they told me if i had landed the drone uh, hardly i said no because uh, i'm just using the takeoff and land uh, buttons in the application so those those ones uh, shouldn't cause any harm to the drone and I didn't crash the drone so uh, this happened just like that and for the record it's not a windy day uh, the, uh, the I checked the temperature uh, the uh, the weather and it wasn't windy at all I mean a very low wind so this drone can actually fly in high winds and uh, it wasn't something that would cause the issue so right here I'm landing and I'm gonna in a small while take the uh, uh, take a look at the gimbal trying to find out what the, what the problem is so uh, the landing went uh, fine I got back my drone I'm gonna pick it up now um, yeah that's that's the message I'm gonna pick it up now looking at the drone I don't see anything wrong I'm gonna put the drone on flat surface there and I'm got the idea to shut down the drone keep keep looking at the uh, the camera checking if something is wrong i don't see anything so i'm gonna shut it down and you will see now it will disconnect from the rc and i will turn on the drone again and my idea here right now i'm thinking what should i do what should i do what should i do so i thought about recalibrating the uh, gimbal so uh, I went uh, after starting the uh, the drone it will connect with the RC and I went in the calibration uh, section so it's under control and if you scroll down 
you will see advanced, gim advanced gimbal settings but under it is gimbal calibration if you click on it you can choose the auto so uh, in the auto mode it will do the calibration so I did this calibration three times one time on uh, on the, the first placement that you saw the blue one and two times on the floor and why I did that because I thought the first position was not uh, flat enough so I put it on the floor to make it flat as flat as possible and I did the calibration twice and uh, after that I didn't try to fly the drone again I just put it in the bag uh, back home it was quite late so I uh, got in touch today with the DJI and they told me to calibrate the, 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 the gimbal before flying so this this footage that I'm showing you now is from my first time I got that uh, that that error so without any any cause so my plan was to f uh, catch that boat on the left and I'm gonna try to track it just for fun see if uh, it's gonna be some nice footage and uh, and so on so right here I'm and being steady I'm trying to track you know zoom on the or at least uh, box the uh, the the boat and you see that uh, it start following this is this is the uh, tripod mod or uh, the spotlight mod so it's following the drone in a very small while I'm gonna switch to a point of interest because I had the idea that it's gonna rotate around the boat but uh, at the same time I've noticed that the boat is going very very fast I can tell how fast it's going but uh, I'm gonna activate the point of interest soon and I'm gonna increase the velocity to the maximum and you're gonna see soon that the, the drone start to level up with the uh, catch up to the boat sideways but it's not it's not powerful enough to rotate it uh, at least from what I can tell so soon there's a first shake I have no idea what that was have no idea but now uh, I decided to just quit the point of interest and it's there where problems will start here I quit the point of interest and suddenly you see shaky footage out of nowhere drone is stable on the air but the camera is freaking out and I got that message the blue one that you see in gimbal motor overloaded and I really I wasn't uh, recording on my screen so I just uh, this is the first time it happened to me so all I was thinking about let me get back the drone back uh, to to safety before uh, before uh, getting it uh, down in the water so back uh, back with the drone I'm gonna I'm gonna be flying toward straight and uh, as I told you earlier it's quite quite um, difficult to to get the, the camera to point where you want it to be but here see here suddenly the camera is stable again I have no idea why but came camera became stable and the message disappeared this was the first time it happened to me so I just flew back and um, and uh, things were fine but the, the second time I flew uh, is the second it is is the video that you've seen before this one so my recommendations is if you have this issue the gimbal motor overloaded uh, message try to look into your gimbal if you have any dust if you've been flying on grass or you know some I would say particles have went into the gimbal and they may block the gimbal this this recommendation has been given by DJI uh, chat support today and the second thing after you have done that second thing is try to um, calibrate the gimbal and do it uh, like a couple of times uh, especially before flying just calibrate it and uh, give it a try and uh, if you're gonna try to clean the gimbal uh, from dust please don't use a uh, compressed air because that could damage the uh, the gimbal could damage the electronics as these uh, bottles they have sometimes or uh, cans they have sometimes I would say uh, liquid inside them and if you have them sideways it may it may take out some liquid and damage the electronics uh, that's it that's my recommendation and if you have any questions if you have any thoughts if you find another way to fix this issue please let me know and I will uh, try to you know reflect back on it or at least if you need help and you really didn't really understand what I'm trying to explain in this video let me know and I'll try to explain it in a message to you and uh, hopefully this will solve your issue as well 
That being said, I thank you for watching this video and I hope your issue will disappear soon and you won't have to live with the uh, problematic gimbal. Have a good day. Bye.